Hey -o. it's Luke of Luke Witch Arts, and a lot of you really like my realistic drawings of Hell of a Boss characters. That's what they're saying. But now the Has Been Hotel has been out a bit, I wanted to do some more terrifyingly <laughs> realistic portrayals of these guys. Okay, so let's start with Lucifer. I love this character. I've always kind of wondered how Hasbin Hotel would treat him ever since the pilot. I honestly thought that he'd end up being some kind of antagonist. Not an outright villain, mind you, but it's just someone who would step in front of Charlie's goals. Lucifer is often depicted as the big bad evil dude who wants to oppose God, take souls, make deals and all of that. So I honestly expected that they would go down the route of having Lucifer wanting to wage war against heaven by building an army in hell. Build me a army worthy of hell. And Charlie's goal of redeeming sinners would just diminish his army. But I am so glad that Hasbin Hotel created this very different interpretation with this duck loving goofy short king. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Oh. That's it, the whole point of my artwork here is to make the characters more realistic from its original cartoon version, while still keeping true to its overall design. While I may be making them more sinister in appearance, I still wanted to retain that goofy side of him, so he has himself an added rubber duck for good measure. What exactly? It's the function of a rubber duck. But I didn't want to go overboard exactly with the whole demonic look. Biblical depictions of Lucifer often show him as a very attractive man, which is kind of the vibe they were going for with Hasbin Hotel, I think. It's hard to tell with the cartoon style sometimes, especially with the giant manic smile and sharp teeth. Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one! I am so glad that Visipop went with that angle for Lucifer rather than the, you know, usual depiction of BIG! demonic red guy with huge horns, and sometimes go ahead. I guess I like it as it helps with making it more distinct. That said, he does go into a more demonic mode in the series, as does Charlie, and Vaggy kind of gets an upgrade with her wings. The wings are new. But we don't see anything like that really occur for Lilith, so it felt unfair to give those three their super buff versions and Lilith remain... well, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. So, back to Lucifer and we run into our first problem, the realism part. Just like with the imps from my previous video of Hell of a Boss, Lucifer has no nose. Except, just like the imps from Hell of a Boss, Lucifer has a nose at one moment for comedic effect. Just. For. One. Moment. Oh, this is the first time she's called you in years. What the fuck is that? What is it with this hostile and hating on noses? Noses are feelings too, you know. So yes, I decided to draw the darn nose. It feels weird not to include a nose. At least for the other characters I'd be drawing, we won't run into that same problem. They all have noses that get. Okay, but guess what? Just like with the imps, these characters have no ears. I swear, Visipop just doesn't like noses or ears. You hear what I'm saying? Who wrote this? So here we are. We have the completed drawing of Lucifer, complete with his rubber duck. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop that now. I'm really pleased with this. You know what? No, I really wasn't pleased with this one. God, who am I kidding? This sucks. I was so disappointed in how he looked, so I had to redraw him all over again. In a different pose and everything. I much preferred what he looked like in this version, but hey, let me know. Which one of these two drawings did you prefer? So, I think it's fitting that we move on to Lilith next. We barely know anything about her in Hasbin Hotel. She's a very mysterious character. Originally from a pilot episode, all we really got was a few brief glimpses of these paintings in this hallway, and particularly this moment when Alistair is snooping around. And in the first season, we got... We really didn't get all that much more. Just a lovely little tease of Lilith chilling on the beach. But hey, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, okay, okay. There are some things we can glean from these very few brief appearances. She's nearly always depicted in, in a very glamorous dress with long blonde hair. Or pink, or some, some kind of colour. Two curved horns and piercing eyes. I think it's kind of suggested through some of these paintings in the background that she had a career of an entertainer or singer. So I wanted to capture that kind of regal aspect of Lilith. I also added the fire in her hand just to spice things up a bit. We have no idea if Lilith has magical powers or anything, but considering both Lucifer and Charlie both use fire and magic power thingies, I feel it works. And Honestly, it's Lilith, it just feels appropriate. One thing I notice is just how different Lilith's eye colour really is in comparison to Lucifer's and Charlie's. Charlie really is her father's daughter. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree and all of that. I quite like the white of the, uh, the, uh, hang on, uh, hang on a moment, what's the colour part of the eye called again? Uh, the iris! Gaze into the iris. Anyway, uh, oh, and I really loved in this picture just how thin the lips are, so I wanted to use that as a reference for my own drawing. It does add something to the image, I feel, and kind of makes me think of the Jack Nicholson's version of the Joker, and his smile a little. You can call me... 
Lilith. I do wonder what Lilith will be like in season two. I'm assuming they'll be in season two. <laughs> Imagine that they just made that massive tease at the very end and then just never show her. But yeah, depending on what she is like, maybe I'll have to come back and redraw her at some point. She might have a really different redesign, or like Charlie and Lucifer, she'll have some crazy upgrading moment. God, that'd be so cool. So yeah, I really like this drawing. I much prefer it from the first Lucifer drawing I did, so I didn't redraw this one. Lilith is certainly not as scary looking as Lucifer, and that was kind of the idea of this design. Lilith is never shown being all that creepy. Lucifer is very often shown with those massive sharp teeth, which, as a realistic drawing, makes for some pretty sinister looks, but Lilith is kind of, well, normal by comparison. These are certainly very different characters from the hell of a boss imps I drew. But now, moving on to Charlie. Hello? Charlie was quite a bit different from the other characters that I've drawn so far, and she is very different from the imps of Hell of a Boss. She's basically like a kind of Disney princess from hell kind of vibe. So drawing her as I drawn Lucifer and the imps would kind of be a bit of a disservice. I don't think it makes sense to represent her in a demonic form with sharp teeth, with a scary expression, or anything like that. So I really wanted to ramp up the whole Disney vibe with the whole dramatic pose and rainbow. Inside of every demon is a rainbow. But of course I'll still be drawing her in my own style, rather than going completely down the rabbit hole of drawing the character in a Disney style. I think I'd be so bad at that, honestly. I hate drawing with just line art. I'm so bad at that, I can't stand it. Honestly though, this was a much more simpler drawing than the previous two. As unlike Lilith, we already have plenty of images for Charlie, and know what her personality is like, which I hope I got the bubbly personality of Charlie right. Let me know if you think I did. I did have a few options of which outfits I would use for Charlie, as there is her pilot outfit, her outfit through the route for the rest of the show, a version without her blouse, her final battle outfit, and even her bedclothes. But I think it just made more sense to stick with the outfit that we see her in throughout the most of the show. I also didn't go and redo the whole image like I did with Lucifer again, though I did come back and redo her eyes here. Originally I tried to make her eyes rather similar to the cartoon, but due to my more realistic art style, they looked a little weird, as if they were giant bug eyes. Let me think of those giant eyes from these things from Dark Souls. I love these things, they're so dippy. Oh, hey, whoa, Kiki. Anyway, back onto Charlie and also the finished drawing. I think I did good here. I love how different this image is compared to the other two that I've done so far. It's so much more angelic and less brimstone and fire and doom. I love this contrast, honestly. But now onto the last one. Let's move on to Vaggy. Today you boys become men. Alright, so obviously all these characters I've drawn so far have been angelic figures, and Vaggy is no different, it turns out. But there is a little bit of a difference. Vaggy's personality is much more... Uh, how, how do I put this? Very forward and pretty aggressive. <laughs> She's almost like an army drill sergeant at times, which makes sense given her history as an ex-exterminator and apparently a top one at that. It's why I named you after the best thing ever, Vaggy. Actually, it's pronounced Vaggy. No. So I wanted to give her a much more serious expression and pose. Weapon in hand, ready to fight. She stands ready to oppose all. Anyone else notice that the design of the spirit changed from the pilot of the full series? Just me? Huh. She was also a little bit different from the previous drawings due to the ashen grey coloured skin that she has. All of the previous characters have the whitest of skins like snow, so the grey was a really nice change. I did kind of forget about the patterns in her hair as I got carried away with trying to make it have this dynamic upward sweeping motion, so it probably would have been quite hard to show the pattern. I don't think I've talked about the background, have I? Well, for Lucifer and Lilith's picture, I made them rather the same, quite dark and reddish, but with Charlie's I made it quite different to reflect her Disney princess vibe. However, for Vag I wanted the background to reflect her a bit more, so I decided to go for a more greyish colour, just like her skin tone. This popped up really nicely against the red of her top, and the red of her bow thingy. The one thing that I really did struggle with, however, was that great big cross over Vaggie's eye. I originally tried to make it more realistic, and just showing like a bloodstained gaping hole or something, which I will say looked really cool, but the more I think about it, it did look a little bit weird, as the wound is quite old, and also it wouldn't have been red, because in the episode, now that I recall, it was actually shown that Vaggie's blood, like all the other angels, is actually like a goldish colour. So I did decide and try and include the great big cross over her eye, but to have it be a bit more textured and less defined, I feel it kind of worked out quite well. Unlike with what I had done with Charlie, for Vaggie, her normal eye is more in line with the shape of her eye as it looks in the cartoon. I don't know why, but I feel it worked in this image compared to Charlie's. Maybe that is due to the giant cross that is right next to her normal eye? I'm not really sure. Let me know if you think it works and tell me why. But yes, here is the final picture of Vaggie. And now here is everyone! These were so fun to draw. I had a blast drawing them, and I hope you had fun watching them. Let me know who was your favourite, and also let me know who I should draw next. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram for all the latest news. Alright, that's it. I'm ending the video now.